When I put my oboe together, I usually start with the body of the oboe. And I don't normally press down any specific keys. Um, the parts of the oboe sort of just sort themselves out if you just go slowly and gently, twisting as you go, until it's lined up correctly. And then I do the bell. And I don't normally press down a key, but I, um, if you felt that the, it was likely to be out of alignment, I could press down this one key on the bottom of the bell just to make sure that it lines up properly. And then for my oboe reed, I have an old container that I keep sort of halfway filled up with water, um, and I change the water out regularly, and I just let my reed soak in there for two or three minutes before I start playing. Um, and then after it's soaked, I just blow through the opposite end of the reed just to get rid of any excess water. And then I stand my oboe upright, and I just sort of guess roughly where the reed needs to go, and gently push it all the way down. And then to check I've got it in the right position, I just put the reed in my mouth to check that I can comfortably reach all the keys and still have the oboe in the right place. And if necessarily, I can um, twist the reed just to adjust. So from what I know, um, a crow on an oboe reed is when you, rather than when you play normally, just putting the tip of the reed in your mouth, you put you put your lips all the way down to the, the base of the reed. Um, and rather than using the normal embouchure, you just keep your lips loose and blow. Like that. Um, and then to make the correct embouchure for the oboe, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, just... Well, first of all, you want to make sure that no part of your teeth is touching the, the reed. You want to have a, a seal all the way around the reed with your lips. Um, sort of like an inverted whistle. Just like that. Yeah, and that's it for doing the embouchure.